This is Ritik from Bright Champs. I welcome you back to this wonderful session 3 of our amazing scratch series. I hope you remember right in last video we learned how to make great animation on the scratch platform. And now it's time to start working on our first game. So, let's get started. Okay? So, I hope all of you have opened your scratch six screen, right? Now, once you are on this page, we need to click on the create button, okay? So once I click on create, now again I will be going towards the empty scratch page, okay? And now, first thing whenever we are making, right? And I think the idea of my game is very simple. Okay, in the last class we made an aquarium, right? So I think today let's make a game inside the aquarium itself, okay? So the fish will be the same. We will have a great background that is the aquarium background, and the game will be. Let's say the fish is trying to eat something. Okay, so the game is very simple. I hope you have the idea, right? We'll be giving food to the fish, and the fish has to collect the food. Okay, so let's get started now. First of all, we will delete the cat, and all of us know how to do that already, right? Amazing. We click on choose a sprite, and we are going to select a fish of our choice. So I select here fish. I think for today's session, I am going to select. um i think i'm going to select a starfish today there is a starfish wonderful we have the starfish but i think the size is very big see just below the stage i can change the size from 100 to 70 i think 70 is much better in fact you know i think 55 will be even better great this is perfect now the second thing to get a beautiful background right now i am selecting a already made background If you want, you can paint your own background as well. Okay, let's click on choose a backdrop, and let's select underwater. And I think this will be a good background. I think the similar one which we had in the last class. Now the idea is listen very carefully. The fish actually has to eat something, right? So the first thing we need to get is the food. So again, I click on choose a sprite. Let's select what the fish can eat. I click on food. and i can see some wonderful options what do you think the fish would like to eat mm, an apple a muffin an orange strawberry mm, i'm not sure i think you know the fish would like to eat a strawberry because i love strawberry and i hope you love strawberry as well right so whatever you like to eat you can select that one thing okay i select the strawberry but the strawberry is also very big and i hope you know what to do right wonderful you have the correct answer already we are just going to change the size from 100 to 30 i think this is good enough right in fact you know 40 will be even better at least the fish should be able to find it right okay now let's say the strawberry is right here the game is very simple the fish has to go to the strawberry and eat it but how will the fish move first of all let's click on the fish so i click on the fish below the stage now i will tell the fish very simply that when i click the right arrow please go towards the right side when i click the left arrow go towards the left side very simple i'll just draw it quickly for you on the stage so you can understand it as well okay we are talking about going right and left okay so i'll just write a zero here so if the go fish goes towards this side which is the right i write an r if fish goes this place the fish goes left which is an l so we can say when the fish is going right the fish is moving plus 10 steps because it is moving in the right direction and the fish is going left it is moving in the left direction so it will be minus 10 okay i hope this is clear right now let's get started on it so very simply i will tell my fish that when i press the right arrow key okay for that i am going to click on events we already have understood events already right and what is the event when right key pressed now see the second block here when space key pressed we just click on space and we have a drop down we can select the right arrow i get a new block and i get a left arrow now you can have any control depending on what you want. i am looking for right and left because i think that's the most easiest right i go to motion i say move 10 steps And when I go left, what did I tell you? Minus ten. So I click inside it. I write minus ten steps. Let's try it on the fish. I'm going to click on right and left, and notice on the stage. 
wonderful it is going right and it is going left that's amazing now you do one thing you select your own sprite and get the stunt first to follow okay now the fish can go right and left but what if the strawberry is up or down now we will say when up arrow key pressed and when down arrow key pressed now pause the video and try it for yourself i'm sure you will do it okay i am sure you must have tried it already let's see what is the correct answer we click on events we take the same block and we just change it to a arrow and we already know this right and we select the down arrow great but the question is how will the fish go up and down because move 10 steps is only making it go right and left when we are talking about going up and down i'm drawing it here we are actually talking about the y axis okay when we talk about going up and down we always talk about what we always talk about the y axis so i can say if the fish goes up the fish is going plus 10 where in the y direction okay plus 10 y when the fish is going down i can say the fish is going minus 10 in the y direction okay now let's look where these blocks actually are So quickly we are going to click on motions that is the first block in the block palette and when we go down see there's an option that says change y by 10 see it very carefully i tick change y by 10 add one here and add one in the down arrow and i make it as minus 10 now see i'm going to click on the fish once again right right left up down amazing when i click up it goes up when i click down it goes down so our job is done right amazing but you know i think the fish looks very boring right now so you know what we can add that whenever i click on any arrow let's say up down right left the fish will change the color as well isn't that a great idea so let's click on costumes see on the left at the top it is written code and next it is written costumes i click on costumes and the fish has only two costumes on both of them are pink in color so just do one thing right click right click on it and you can find the option of duplicate i click on duplicate i have the same fish with this right so what i'm going to do i'm going to fill it with yellow color this looks good now let's duplicate it once again now i am going to fill it with maybe i think blue color Let's select the blue color. Great. So I think we have four colors for the fish, right? Let's select one different color as well. I think here I would like my fish to go red in color. Oh, sorry, we have to select the fish first and then select the color. Okay. Great. Now my fish has four colors. But the job is uh, that I always have to tell the fish, right? That keep changing your colors all the time, right? So very simple. I will say one thing. the event is when green flag clicked that is when the game will start see what has to happen the fish has to change the color all the time and now remember the aquarium we made we know what do we do when we want to say all the time it means always and we relate it to what forever block right perfect we click on control and get the forever block now what do what do i have to say i go to looks and i select next costume Now let's click on green flag. It is changing color, but it is very fast, right? So I want to to slow it down. So I click on control once again. I get wait one second. Now let's select. I think it is better, but let's make it zero point five. It will be better than. Now it's okay, right? Now it's changing color all the time. It looks better now. Okay. Now I can just make my fish. Okay, let's click on the green flag, and let's make our fish go to the strawberry. It is at the strawberry, but it is not eating the strawberry. Oh God! I think made the mistake we had done till now. We haven't told the fish to actually eat the strawberry. Correct? Very simple. Now we will click on the strawberry, and I will say that when green flag clicked, very simple. And see now, let's understand what we have to do. We will tell the strawberry that if fish touches you, that is a fish eats you. What you will do? You can go to a new place. So it's like the fish will eat a strawberry, and the strawberry will be at a new place. So fish have have to go to that new place. Okay. So what I am saying, listen very carefully. If fish eats the strawberry, correct? Now what do I start the sentence with? I started with an if, right? A condition. Just like if our parents tell us, 
if you want to have a chocolate first do your homework similarly if fish touches the strawberry the strawberry will go to a new place let's click on events and see right here one two three four the fourth block from the top says if then i select it and i add it here now what do i have to say if fish touches the strawberry and touch if i want to touch like you know if i touch myself or if you touch hot tea you sense something right so i click on sensing see just below controls here and i take the first block i say so now you know what will happen i'll just do it once again you drag it you put it like this the left ends should meet it will go white in color and you will leave it and select the fish the starfish if touching starfish that means if it touches the starfish what will happen it will go to a new place i click on motions and there's a block here that says go to random position but one more thing this has to happen all the time right now i know you already know the answer right all the time means always always means forever block amazing let's click on control get the forever we'll take the if put it inside forever and attach the green flag now let's try i'm going to click on the green flag let's touch the strawberry okay the strawberry is going to new places wonderful and i can go to the strawberry and so i think the first level of the game is already done right so we can say it's like a hungry fish or maybe a uh, strawberry and the starfish game right now similarly you can make any game with any idea and this is all now first of all let me give it a name i'll call it as the starfish mm, and food great and i click on share so all you few can find it okay now this was the first level of our wonderful game okay now all of you try the same thing before you get to the next one in the next video what we'll do we'll add new things to the game and make it even better okay so that's all for now thank you very much for joining this session and i hope to see you once again in the very next session bye bye